Joe, welcome to the show. It's great to be here. On the Lee. show with Joe. Very exciting. Fantastic. Joe, there's a lot of different styles of writing around there. So many, so many styles. There are indeed. Because I've also done a bit of travel writing, of course, for uh, really? the Big Travel and also... Big, um, big Travel? Sure. Cuisine magazine. What did you write for Cuisine magazine? Well, this is it here, actually. I wrote this little... Uh, oh, right. <clears throat> it's called A Holiday Dreams Are Made Of. Nestled on the North Island's east coast is the western region known as the Riviera of the South. So on the east coast, the western region? Yeah, yeah of, of the... And to the southwest, set in its cliff tops, like a tiny yet priceless jewel, is Champagnolia Lodge. It's a cracking introduction. It's Makes fantastic. me just long to go there. Well, it wouldn't take you long. From the city, it's a tranquil 14-hour ferry ride. In a car, it's only about five to 10 minutes from the city. I walk right. barefoot atop a million broken seashells, and I'm not complaining. It's, it's sort of fairly cliche-laden so far, isn't it? But that style of writing's got to be, Joe. I mean, look. Ah, uh, uh, OK. As the warm spring sun kisses my bare cheeks, I cannot kisses, help. Kisses, kisses, that's just, yeah. Kisses my bare cheeks. I cannot help but wonder what fantastic sea life may have occupied those seashells in another time, what stories they could tell. I also wonder whether I should be wearing pants. I chat to some of the other guests and sip the delicious lukewarm Sauvignon, which is literally flying from the taps here. They are fresh with nuances of apple pears and the palate is full with a subtle yet lingering aftertaste of nachos. Nachos. Yeah, so Joe, you can imagine, you know, you're sitting in a lodge, you're enjoying this experience. Yeah, no, I feel I'm right in the scene there. Okay. Beneath the inky sky, I'd enjoy an effervescent conversation with John and Lorraine, an elderly couple on holiday from California. The, the moonlight appears to skip like a stone back and forth across the calm bay. Um, stones don't go back and forth. I would if someone was throwing them back at you, Joe. Yeah, I guess so. But normally they sink, don't they? Maybe I'm a bit picky. Well, that's why you're here, Joe. To lend a professional opinion to a lot of this stuff and yeah. obviously not everyone's going to agree with your opinion yeah. but it's certainly worth um, taking in, in, in small doses. I would, I'd um, just tell <clears> you to my left I can distinguish the faint silhouette of a Pahutakawa and I'm sure I saw a shooting star race across the sky. This perfectly framed imagery is tarnished only slightly by the fact that to the right of this visual composition one of John's testicles appears to be dangling from the leg of his line of free shorts. This was in Cuisine magazine. Well, this one this hasn't been submitted yet, Joe, so it's quite good that you, you've got some... Yeah, I'd, I'd cross out the testicular bit, yeah. OK. It's bullshit. I write what I see, Joe, and um, this you is You did see these testicles? Yeah, just trying to paint a picture, Joe. Yeah, okay. yeah. No, it's painted. Unbeknown to him, it gently swings back and forth in the candlelight. Like a skipping stone? Like one of those oh, annoying like kinetic it. silver balls you find in many offices. Fortunately, without a clicking sound. Yeah, well, that's quite a vivid image. Newton's balls in it. Yeah, exactly. But well, once again, um, you now know, that would be remarkable if you saw four or five testicles. Oh, that's you know, you drop right. two and two pop off the other end. But I wouldn't expect the, the readers to believe that. Um, you know, I think two and two, two is enough to get a that bit of a click going on there. Right. Before you know it, I've also good. polished off a large bottle of bourbon and half a bottle of vodka. I don't remember much from here on, other than a vague recollection of falling backwards through a glass ranch slider. Shards of glass shatter and scatter delicately across the moonlit deck like a thousand colourful light refracting diamonds. Mm. Some of the larger pieces rise from my tender buttocks like glaciers in a Himalayan ice field. Right. Oh, you can imagine. How could you see them? Oh, I look at the security footage. Um, All right. Okay. Do you always study security footage? So? No, but in this case, I had to. The following morning, I got up and. Uh, With a lacerated ass. The following morning, I got up early and left without paying. That's it, Joe. That's, right. that's the kind of writing. I'm sure Cuisine Magazine will just lap it up. You've been watching Book Time.